so sorry guys i went to hit pause and i hit the stop button so i'm just gonna make it a part two on um youtube here <laughs> okay so sorry about that but anyways we have groupie and bankrupt so this person they feel it they feel the rejection they feel being left out in the cold okay they were so busy trying to impress other people whether it was online trying to make themselves look good and and kind of tearing you down and and you know making it seem like you weren't anything to them they were willing to do that they were willing to make that sacrifice here yeah jackpot and cloud hungry to make themselves look good, make themselves look like they were the best thing going, like they were winning by downing you, by, you know, dragging you through the mud, talking bad about you. This is someone that, yeah. And then the crazy thing is this is someone that made it seem like you needed them when in reality they needed you. Creativity mantra and boss boss B energy, like you over here leveling up, they make it seem like you eating off of them, eating off of their plate, you know, um, give, like they were given to you in some sort of way here, but really they were the ones needing you, oh man, okay, <laughs> well, let's see, what's this, um, there you go mama, sorry, I had to end up picking her up, that's why the, I had accidentally hit the stop button, I'm so sorry y'all, but, um, this person here, I see you rejecting them. It's like they want to be up in your business. They want to get to know you or get to kind of like, you know, update. Like, hey, what you been up to? What you got going on? You know, you know, we was friends. You know, let's, let's, let's just make that water under the bridge type of energy. Okay, sorry about that. But this is that, yeah, it's just water under the bridge. You know, we always went cool. You know, we always went way back. You know, let's, let's just drop it and just pick up where we were type of energy. That's what's going on here. This is someone you have a deep soul connection with. Let's see. What's the garden with the king of wands in reverse? With this, the horizons. Ignoring. I see you ignoring this person. And the reason I see you ignoring this person, look, in person that wants to be you, acts like, dresses like, looks like, and copies you. For some of you, this person could have got involved with somebody that kind of looked like you, that's kind of similar to you in some sort of way. They could have been sleeping with this person, messing around with this person. Um... They could have slept with this person, messed around with this person. It could have caused a lot of drama, you know, in, in your life here. And so I just see you kind of ignoring this person. Yeah, love triangle, fed up. This is someone you're just like, I'm over it. I don't want to deal with this anymore. This person's egotistical. It's too much going on. This person could be sleeping with them. You know, this is like, it says sleeps around a whole free for all sleeps with your man. So this, they could be connected to somebody that slept with this person. Or, yeah. Uh, What's the garden with the king of wands in reverse? This the horizons. Photo proof getting evidence. And it's not like it's something that's made up. You actually know this. There's evidence. Yeah, dirty offer that this person has done this. And then they want to come in and offer this, this offer with you. Like, oh, okay, well, now we could be friends or now we could be cool. And it's like, no, <laughs> no, we're, we're not cool. We're not friends. What's the garden with the king of wands in reverse? Yeah, dust it off. You're kind of just letting it go. Like, yo, it is what it is. Go enjoy your third parties. Go enjoy being with the people you want to be with. You're not going to be blocking me. Spiritual hater is here. Okay, I can see I can, I can, can see what's going on here. Okay, you slept around with somebody. You got with somebody. And they up here cock blocking the connection between us. You trying to put a third party in here. Or, you know, I, I just don't have time. A lot of y'all are dusting this off. Yeah, divination abuser, uninterested. So this person is trying to manipulate their way back in. Okay, and if this is them, if this is them in this tyrant energy, they're trying to be manipulative like, yo, you know, I didn't mean to sleep with your friend or I didn't mean to sleep with that person that you're aware of, that you know, you know, from back in the day. I didn't mean like they're going to be very manipulative when they come in because they know you're uninterested in even like talking to them, you know, communicating with them in some sort of way. You just like, nah, I'm good. But this person, they're really going to try to like get in good with you here. And you're just like, no, I'm all right. I'm good on that. I don't want to. Give me one second. But yeah, you're just kind of like, no, I'm good on that. I pass. Now, what's the escapist with the six of cups? The Scorpio. Shady female. See, you can't trust this person. Materialistic. You cannot trust this person. Stable woman, they have their ish together. Mm -mm. You cannot trust this person or whoever they're connected to. Okay, because I have a main male and then I have a mature woman in reverse. So this person could be connected to a very immature energy. And they're trying to come back in. They could. This could be a couple that's trying to come back in and they're trying to like reconcile something with you here. But you, they, they can't be trusted. Shady female, especially this feminine energy. The male could be in mask, uh, feminine energy as well. But like this, they could be coming back because they see you very well off, very financially stable. And they're very materialistic. Like they want something from you. 
What's that escapist with the six of cups? Liar. Yeah, I told you that can't be trusted. Shady female and liar. So one the female could be shady and the man's a whole liar. Look, hat. Yeah. They're trying to get back in your life to like manifest some type of financial abundance or something. What's escapist with six of cups? Yeah, in my zone, minding my own business. I feel like you're gonna be focused on you because sketchy, there's something off about them. You know you're picking up on it. You're picking up on it. You're picking up on that something's not right with these people or this person, whoever this is. That something's not right, that something's going on that you, you can't see through, and you don't trust it. Yeah, two uh, total eclipse, two souls merging together and fake news. Like, they trying to come and reconcile with you, and you're like, nah, baby, I don't trust it. That's what I feel. Like, it, it can't be trusted. What's the garden with the king of wands in reverse? Avoiding. I see you avoiding this person. Someone's avoiding you or vice versa. I see you avoiding this person, these people, whatever. But they want forgiveness. They want forgiveness, but it's after some sort of emotional abuse. You know, what's going on with the garden and the king of wands in reverse? Yeah, energy interference. And they're going to try to manipulate their way back in. Scream, ghost extremes for attention. But this here, hustler, always hustler, knows how to get what they want. But what's going to happen is once they find out that they can't manipulate their way back in, they're really going to show their true colors again, that tyrant energy. And you're going to be like, see, that's exactly why I don't want you back over here. Yeah, playing with fire. Someone loves to play with fire. And then dangerous karmic ties. You feel like this person is either karmic, they're tied to a karmic, or they keep putting you in a karmic situation. I, f I see you not wanting anything to do with them. Tyrant. Thank you, spirit. Cruel, oppressive ruler uses force to control people. This is a tyrant energy. These people are in tyrant energy. Whoever this is, especially this king of wands in reverse, this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Whoever this is, they're, they're cunning. They're asleep with whoever they need to, they do whatever they need to to get what they want out of a situation. They don't care if they got to oppress somebody, step on somebody's neck, step on somebody's back, whatever they got to do to get a situation to go in their favor, they're willing to do it. Okay, that's what this type of person is. And I see you ignoring them, letting it go, because you already have proof what type of person this person is or these people are. And so I just see you distancing yourself, even though they're going to come in and be like, oh, do you forgive me for emotionally abusing you, for talking shit about you, for trashing you? Do you forgive me? And you're like, uh, no. So I see that happening here. Okay, but um, let me get you some advice. Okay, any advice for Scorpio? They're coming in because they're guilty, guilt and blame. So they're going to come in. They're going to try to take uh, responsibility for everything. But it's because of your success, Scorpio. Yeah, regret. They regret judging you. They regret casting some type of judgment on you here because now you're successful. Now you're showing up in this energy. And so now they feel guilty for the way they treated you because they realize you're stable, successful, independent, self-sufficient. And they're over here needing something that you have. So now they're coming in. But I feel like even with this blame card, I accept responsibility for my well-being, Scorpio. I feel like you've already seen the snake or the snakes and you realize there's no going back. So, yeah, I, I feel like you're successful without them in your life. So I, I see you keep going. But this is what I have for you. Hope it gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.